Okay. So just to apply all of the things that I have mentioned, uh, let's try that in a sample problem. Uh, this problem just came from the book of Jupiter. I just changed some of the some of the data. The floor beam, ito yung floor beam. Ito yung floor beam natin natukoy dyan. Ha? Ito yung iturang I. Natawag dyan I beam or white flange. White flange. White flange or I beam. The floor beam na yan, with a cross-sectional area equal to 0 0.14 square meter shown is used to support 6 feet width of a lightweight plain concrete slab having a thickness of 4 inches. So meron daw siyang sinusupport na slab. Ito yon, Yung slab na tinutukoy. And yung width niya ay 6 feet daw. So 3 feet plus 3 feet, 6 feet. So yung 6 feet width daw ng concrete slab na yan, sinusupport ni floor beam. And ang thickness ng slab ay 4 inches according to the question. The slab serves as a portion of the ceiling or the floor below. And therefore, its bottom is coated with plaster. So yung, yung floor below daw, this slab, so yung nandito sa ilalim, yung ceiling daw nun is actually uh, part, I mean the bottom of the slab is actually part of the ceiling of the floor below. So ang ginawa, since naka ano, na siya, straight to finish na siya, yung bottom ng slab nilagyan ng plaster. Plaster is uh, made up of, uh, hindi siya concrete eh. Plaster usually it's a uh, mixture of water, cement, tsaka sand. Okay. Tama ba? Yeah, cement, sand, tsaka water. So nilagyan ng coat dito, pinahiran yan, pinahiran yung ilalim ng ano, slab para, nga, para magkaroon ng plaster. So meron kang plaster dyan. Plus, Ito yung concrete slab. Concrete slab. Concrete. Furthermore, an 8, in, an 8 feet high, 12 inch thick lightweight solid concrete black wall is directly over the top flange of the beam. So in addition to the concrete slab and the plaster and the weight of the white flange itself, in addition to, to those uh, loads, the, the floor beam also uh, supports this black wall here with dimensions as shown black wall 8 feet high daw siya tapos 12 inches thick the question asks for the uh, loading on the beam measured per meter of the length of the beam meaning ang inaanap lang ng question is ano yung load that is being carried by the floor beam per meter length so pag sabi niyang per meter length ang inaanap niya dyan na unit ng load must be uh, force force per length force over length. So kung ang gagamitin natin na unit for force uh, is uh, kilonewton and then ang unit of length will be meter. So expect na ang unit ng load na hinahanap for this particular problem ay naka kilonewton per meter. So ito yung floor beam. Kanya yung tura ng floor beam na hinahanap natin. And then ito yung pinaka hinahanap sa tanong. The drawing ko lang ha etong uniformly distributed load na to. Yan. Yan, yung kinikerry na load no floor beam. We need to find that loading. That is in terms of kilonewton per meter. Okay. So how can we find that? How can we find that uh, loading? So we can use the, the simple formula that we have mentioned a while ago. You can use that. As long as we know the unit weight, can already compute for the weight of the member. Okay, so we just have to find the corresponding unit weight of the given members or materials, the lightweight plate concrete slab, lightweight solid concrete black wall, the floor beam, and the ceiling or plaster. Although there will be some, uh, at, uh, other uh, treatment for the ceiling or plaster because again, it is a dead load applied to a surface. So medyo hindi, hindi ka nito yung natin na formula for that. Okay. And then, uh, just for uh, simplicity, since the problem asks for, for the load that is in terms of kilonewton per meter or, or force per length na uh, nasagot, might as well, you know, i-express natin agad yung makukuha natin na, na nasagot dito na naka-force per length na lang. So yung length na to, ibaba natin sa left side of the equation, matitira ay ito. So yung pinaka-formula natin will just be unit weight times the cross-sectional area. Para yung makukuha natin sagot na load, naka-ano na agad, naka-force per length na agad. Okay? 
Ganyan na lang yung gamitin natin. So yun, let's start for finding the unit weight of the lightweight plain concrete slab muna. So concrete slab siya. So we can refer to table 2 for dash 1. Concrete slab, let's go to the concrete portion, letter C, na alphabetical naman to. And plain concrete siya. So ito yung concrete or plain concrete. Tapos lightweight daw siya. So ito yun, yung kailangan natin. Pag tinignan nyo doon, uh, range of value yung nakalagay. So, alin dyan yung gagamitin natin? 11 to 16.5 kN per cubic meter daw. Alin dyan yung gagamitin natin? Might as well, gamitin na natin yung largest kN, uh, yung 16.5 kN per cubic meter. Okay. For the lightweight solid concrete black wall, so black wall siya. Black wall is also a masonry. So, pwede tayong pumunta dito sa letter M, masonry. Tapos black wall daw siya, solid. So, pwede tayong pumunta dito sa masonry, concrete solid portion. Yan. Tapos lightweight daw siya, so dito tayo sa una. According to the table, the, the unit weight of that uh, material is 16.5 as well. Yan. And then lastly, yung floor beam. Obviously, steel yung floor beam natin. So let's, let us just go to the letter S. The steel, ito yung steel. Uh, or the cold form yan. Pero ang nakalagay dyan, the unit weight of the steel is 77.3 mN per cubic meter. And then lastly, for the ceiling plaster, which is a dead load applied to a surface, we, we will refer to 204-2 kasi applied to a surface siya. So, punta tayo sa ceilings. Ito. And then, hanapin lang natin yung plaster. Costical fiberboard, gypsum, mechanical duct, plaster. So, ito yan. So, according to the table, plaster on tile or concrete is equal to 0.24 kilopascal. So, yan yung tatawagin natin na uh, uniform load. Uniform dead load for plaster. 0.24 kN per meter squared. Okay. So, now... Uh, let's move on to the calculation of the uh, of the weight per length of the lightweight plate concrete slab. So we just have to substitute the corresponding values here. Unit weight is equal to 16.5. Cross-sectional area of the plain concrete slab. Ano yung cross-sectional area niya? Ito yon. Ito yung cross-sectional area yung tinatawag. Yan. And what is the dimension of that cross-sectional area? Rectangular in, in ano lang yan. Rectangular in shape with a dimension equal to 4 inches. Tapos yung length niya, 6, uh, 6 feet, 3 plus 3. Okay? So, multiply lang natin yung dalawang yon dalawang dimension para makuha yung cross-sectional area niya. But, just have to be careful kasi we, we must have a consistent units. Kasi ito naka-inches, ito naka-feet. So, we, have, we must have consistent units. So, dapat pare silang feet or pare silang inches. So, mamili ka na lang kung saan ka mag-navigate inches or sa feet. So, ang ginawa ko dito, I just uh, navigate. Uh, navigated with respect to feet. So, convert ko na lang yung inches papunta sa feet. So, I hope you already know how to convert units. Okay, we just multiply it by the conversion factor. 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. Sa uh, denominator ko nilagay 12 inches para makancel siya. Yeah, tapos, feet times feet yung lanabas. Okay, pero, again, hindi na naman consistent yung units natin kasi naka-SI to, tapos ito naka-US. So, we must convert it to SI. The conversion factor for feet is uh, 1 feet is equal to 0.348 meter. Kaso, dalawang feet yan. So, dalawang ganito yung gagamitin natin. Or square na lang. So, to the numerical computation, ito yung lalabas sa sagot. 3.07 kN per meter. That is the dead load coming from the concrete slab itself pa lang. Okay? We have several dead loads pa dito to consider. Now, moving on to the concrete black wall. Same, for same formula will be used uh, gamma times A na lang, unit weight of the concrete black wall. Black wall we already found out it, 16.5 as well. Area, what is the area of the black wall? This is the black wall and the cross-sectional area is this. This is the cross-sectional area of the black wall. Again, this is just a rectangle with a dimension 12 inches by 8 feet. So multiply lang natin yung dalawang yan. 12 inches by 8 feet. Make sure na consistent yung unit. So multiply natin ng conversion factor. Magiging feet squared. Ito cancel muna. Feet squared siya. So multiply pa ulit ng conversion factor. Dalawa. Kasi dalawang feet yan. So that we have a consistent unit all throughout the equation. To the numerical computation. And this will be the answer. That is the dead load coming from the concrete mga flak wall pa lang. Lastly, yung self-weight ng floor beam. Same formula. Unit weight of the floor beam, 77.3. Cross-sectional area of the floor beam. Ito yung cross-sectional area nito, yung kulay dilaw. According to the problem, that is 0 0.14 square meter. So substitute lang natin. Substitute lang natin siya dyan. Multiply. The, the, the answer will be in terms of kilonewton meter. Uh, kil kilonewton per meter as well. Kasi cancel to eh. Cancel. May matitirang meter sa ilalim. So those are the loads coming from the slab. 
black wall and the floor beam. Lastly, yung load coming from the plaster. Ito yung nasa ilalim. Medyo ibaik ko lang ng kulay ng konti. Naka uh, kulay. Green na lang. Green. So ito yung weight na itong plaster na nasa ilalim ng, ng slab. Yan. So plaster is a net load applied to a surface. So medyo iba yung gagamitin natin ng formula. Ano lang. Uh, uniform distributed load times the width. Tributary width. Kasi kung titignan mo yung plaster, supposedly rectangular and shape din yan. Pero meron lang siyang manipis na manipis na thickness. Yan. Okay. So yung, yung manipis na thickness na yan, that is so thin compared to the width of the plaster. Sabihin nung sobrang manipis, Baga, kung i-compare mo yan dito sa width na to, medyo irrelevant na or insignificant na to. That's why the code usually specify it in terms of uh, 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 pressure units. Okay. So para makuha yung load per, per, per length coming from this uh, plaster, to, uh, all we need to do is multiply this value by the tributary width W. And according to this problem, the tributary width is 3 plus 3 or 6 feet. So substitute lang yon 6 feet, kaso naka-fit siya, so convert natin sa meter para makancel yung feet. And then do na numerical computation, the answer will be this. So all in all, uh, those are the loads that are being carried by the floor beam. The weight from the slab, the weight from the black wall, the weight from the plaster, and lastly, its own weight. So overall, in sum, the, the, the total load, the total uniform load that is being carried by the by the floor beam which is this is just equal to their sum which will be equal to 3.07 plus 12.26 plus 10.82 plus 0.44 which will be total to 26.59 kilonewton per meter so meaning that the floor beam that we are talking about here carries a uniformly distributed load equal to 26.59 kilonewton per meter and that is the final answer 